Have you ever wondered where all the Sunday drivers have gone? The people that intentionally take it slow and take a back road just to enjoy the views, to take time to breathe in life. We live in a world that's obsessed with progress. Every day needs to be faster than the last Every update needs to be better, and each waking moment of our lives is a battle for our attention. These screens never let up. But it didn't always used to be this way. There was a time when things slowed down, and the world took a breath. And people took a moment to rest. The machines sat idle, and the city slept. And that was the age of the Sunday drivers. The term Sunday driver was coined in the 1920s and 1930s when Americans were starting to buy cars and on weekends when everything would slow down, people would go on Sunday drives with no real destination in mind. They would just kind of drive and enjoy the scenery. It's crazy that nearly a hundred years later, we've pretty much lost the ability to slow down. The 40 hour work week has mutated into 60, 80, even a hundred hours in some cases. For some reason, we hero worship entrepreneurs who brag about grinding 24 seven, 365, and taking a day off is viewed as a sign of weakness. And what's it all for? Because the West is fatter, sicker, and more depressed than any other region in the world. So here's to you, Sunday drivers. Here's to everyone who has processed the reality that we're on a one-way trip on this spinning ball of rock. Yesterday is gone, and once today's over, you're not getting that back. So no matter where you are in life, do everything you can to eject yourself from the rat race for at least one day a week. Do more of what makes you feel alive. Do more of what matters. Hey, you guys wanna play in some leaves falling from the sky? Spend more time with the ones that you love. Spend more time smiling and more time spreading joy. Because a hundred years from now, when they've coined the phrase that they're going to use to label our generation, people are gonna talk and wonder why we didn't spend more time doing what actually mattered. Because in a hundred years, the only thing that will actually have mattered about your life is how much you enjoyed it. So put the cell phones down and have a real conversation with good company. Get outside and rekindle your sense of adventure. Explore. Spend more time soaking up the beauty of the earth. It's free and available to all of us to enjoy while we still have time to do so. Because all of us are moving slowly towards the inevitable moment when the steady march of time closes our eyes and ends this phase of our journey forever. And that's okay, because we're not meant to be permanent. Every single one of us is just passing through. And it's that temporary nature of our existence that makes those Sunday drives so important in the first place. <laughs>